Hey YouTube, hey YouTube. Hey YouTube, what's up? How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. Oh, I'm doing a bad shadow on my face. Hey YouTube, I've got this one bedroom apartment that I love. So I'm gonna get some stuff to spruce up my patio to add a little greenery. Some real and some my responsibility as a plant dad and some fake because I just want it to be there and be like a permanent fixture. Also, so that I can use it as texture when I'm doing shoots at my apartment here for glamour, that sort of thing. I think it'll be a fun uh, option in addition. So I'm just gonna go for it. So let me just show you what we're working with here. So as we look out to the patio, you know, we have the nice view of the Fraser River here. It's really good. Uh, I always think, see right here, that there, if there was just like something right here, a little, little plant right there, but if there was something right here that would like kind of block just the people who look right into pretty much where I sit there. And uh, just over here, maybe if there could be something a little green, just edging in, but that'd be really fun. I think it'd be cool right here to have like some shelves, get some, I get so much sun because the uh, west facing window, the sun goes right there. But if I just had some shelves right here, maybe some succulents, cacti, that sort of thing, and the cacti could come in in the winter. I was just sort of thinking if I could spruce up this patio space a little bit and make it a little bit more green and homey that I have something nice to uh, look at. Also, if you have a small dog, this porch potty, oh my gosh, it's the best thing. There's a basin underneath there. Hazel just goes pee and does her business right on the, the patio here when you don't want to go for a walk. It's super handy in the rain. She's such a shy little dog. So porch potty, it's just it's such a handy thing. I'll put the link below. So a little privacy, a little uh, sense of nature. And uh, I don't know, some people over there definitely have, let's just look, they've definitely got some Nice looking uh, patio setups. Let's go for an adventure over to Ikea and just see if they have something. I, I, I went and looked online to see some of the options they've got going. And oh, this is a good one. Just always stay hydrated, guys. You can do it. Life hack. Uh, when you go out to something fun, bring something stupid like your bottles and your, you know, cardboard recycling there. There it is then that's done and you feel like you accomplished something, even if I go out to spend some money. So, here we go. moderate success. With all this stuff, which I'm really excited about, I think it's gonna do pretty much exactly what I was hoping for, but the little uh, shelf that I was hoping to put some of these new plants on and go get some more plants too, uh, not available here, so I'm gonna have to go to Quitlam, Ikea tomorrow. Just gotta navigate around the bumps. Nice. Yeah, there we are at the end. All right. One-handed, man. Vlogging is a whole skill. Real big respect to those people who do this all the time, and I'm trying to be one now. I think I'm gonna actually develop a lot of the forearm strength in my left hand, which, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> Even things out a bit. <laughs> uh, because I'm a photographer, duh. What were you thinking? Gross. <laughs> all right, there we are. Mandatory milk, chocolate, and hazelnut. Go to Ikea, gotta grab one. Luckily, I chose this big Chrysler 300 because it has a huge trunk. Good plants. These fit. Let's see. And these beauties. Beautiful. Pop this guy into one. Pop this guy in the other one. And we're good. Is this satisfying? Ah, 
I mean, that wasn't satisfying. That's satisfying. All right. Here we go. So we got part of the way there. Uh, not everything I wanted to get, I got, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Hopefully from Coquitlam tomorrow, I'll get the shelf that I'm after, or I'll just have to find something else because I want to keep this project going. I need a watering can too, and then more plants. But it'll be cool when it's done, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. We got uh, a couple plants going here, we're off to a good start. So that was lucky because we got the three that we need. One, two, three. And then I thought these are too long. They are. Because luckily the ones I need are right here. And I was just looking in the exact wrong place. And I was like, I'm sure that they don't want me to. It's like, yeah, they don't want me to like actually cut these and use a saw to do real construction. And this is a tall version of the same shelf you can get. Three of those. And two of these. Luckily, I came and got these because they were running low and they don't seem to be anywhere else. Uh, maybe they'll restock soon, but you never know. Shipping has been weird since COVID. Got what I need. Plus, delicious, delicious uh, chocolate caramels. But I got the call that uh, my mom is making blueberry pie. My family's out there, so we only head straight home. Uh, small blueberry pie interlude. Hey, what's up guys? Post some delicious blueberry pie. I'm back and I'm just gonna put together this shelf from Ikea here. Check this out, we're gonna put this together. shady plants here and over here and you know what when I'm sitting down right here uh, by the TV it creates just a little bit of a barrier and like a little bit of a privacy screen between me and my neighbors in the building over there and I really like the look of it honestly so it didn't take you know much I did have to go to a couple Ikea's because not everything was available at the same place but you have a little seat and I feel good it's cozy that right up out here so I don't know. <laughs> I hope you're inspired to go and make your space just a little cozier, more comfortable for you. I'm actually gonna go for a jog now just for the heck of it. I've got my dinner all prepared, so when I get back, I can just whip everything together and eat up quick. Take care of yourself. Make your space just a little more cozy or a little bit more fun, and I think it will help you be more productive. Uh, enjoy your home. Whatever your challenges are, break them down into small pieces. You don't have to get it all done in a day. That's all right. Leave a comment below. Subscribe, uh, share it to a friend. Maybe you're inspired to get yourself some cacti or some interesting plants here and you know, make your patio more of a green space and just every time you look out at your view, wherever you are, you'll see something that uh, cheers you up a little bit and knows that you're spending time on yourself. That's like some good self-care. Catch you later. If you guys like that video or wanna hang out with me more, drop me a like, subscribe, links below to some stuff, probably Ikea things. Whatever project you're working on or putting off at home, you can handle it. It's probably quicker and easier than you think. Anything that makes your space a little bit more the vibe or the feel uh, that makes you happy is gonna be something that pushes you in the right direction into your mental clarity and health and you know everything that you're, you're after in your life. So uh, believe in yourself, I believe in you.
See you next time.